In 2010, a group from several departments at the Stanford School of Medicine reported in Nature Biotechnology that particular cell cycle imaging parameters could accurately predict blastocyst formation as early as day two of development prior to embryonic genome activation. Analysis of gene expression profiles of whole embryos and individual blastomeres indicated that embryos that are predicted to develop to the blastocyst stage differ in gene expression patterns from those that are rested prior to blastocyst formation, suggesting that non-invasive imaging can be used as an indicator of underlying molecular programs in embryos. The three imaging parameters were the duration of the first cytokinesis, the time between the first and second mitoses, and the synchronicity of the appearance of the third and fourth embryonic blastomeres. Using these three dynamic imaging parameters, it was demonstrated that embryos which reached the blastocyst stage, indicated by the circles, exhibited tight parameter clustering, while arrested embryos, shown as Xs, did not. Therefore, success in human development to the blastocyst stage could be predicted by the four-cell stage of development using three non-invasive imaging parameters with greater than 93% sensitivity and specificity. There has been great interest in the use of time-lapse imaging to monitor embryo development in recent years, as indicated by some of these publications. However, all of these microscopes required the manual measurement of imaging parameters and did not include automated software for the prediction of embryo viability. This video will describe the development of novel time-lapse imaging technology that can be used in a conventional incubator with automatic image data processing to enable the potential implementation of these scientific findings into IVF laboratories. There are two main components of this imaging technology the hardware, or time-lapse microscope, and the software, or automated cell tracking algorithm. The basic components of a time-lapse microscope are LED illumination, the imaging objective, autofocus mechanism, high-resolution camera, and software for electronics control and image capture. In order for the microscope to fit into a standard incubator, only the critical components of the microscope are used and designed in such a way as to reduce the optical path length. There are several types of optical configurations, including dark field, bright field, or Hoffman. One advantage of dark field is that symmetrical illumination and high contrast between the cell membranes and cytoplasm can be achieved, making it easier to create software for tracking the cell divisions. In addition, dark field illumination in combination with the low power LED and high sensitivity camera reduces the amount of light exposure to ensure embryo safety. Dark field images taken every five minutes over the course of two days is actually equivalent to only 21 seconds of light exposure under a typical assisted reproduction microscope. For the second component of the imaging technology, there are three steps to obtain an automated cell tracking algorithm. Prediction, measurement, and comparison and update. In the prediction step, one model is selected, new models are predicted, and parameters are randomly perturbed for each image to generate a distribution of possible embryo models. For the measurement step, the cell membranes are extracted and the principal curvature lines obtained and thresholded for each image. Finally, in the third step, each microscope image is compared to all predicted simulations and each comparison is assigned a likelihood based on similarity to achieve the best fit model for cell tracking. Here is an example of a single embryo showing how the automated cell tracking process works. With the use of this automated cell tracking algorithm to determine normal and abnormal parameter timing windows identified in Wong et al., blastocyst formation can be non-invasively predicted early in development prior to embryonic genome activation. Based on the identification of the three non-invasive cell cycle parameters that accurately predict blastocyst formation by the four cell stage of development 
and the development of automated time-lapse imaging technology just described. We propose the use of this novel technology, which can easily fit into current IVF laboratory workflows. Embryos will be cultured in a unique dish designed for time-lapse microscopes, which also allows for embryo identification and tracking. The dish will be placed under a time-lapse microscope that fits inside a conventional incubator. A movie of embryo development will be generated by the time-lapse microscope and imaging software. Automated extraction of the cell cycle parameters will be performed for each embryo using a cell tracking algorithm. Embryo selection for transfer will be based on the predictive imaging parameter analysis in addition to other criteria currently used in clinical practice. Based on the scientific findings of the Nature Biotechnology paper, which demonstrated the use of specific cell cycle parameters to accurately predict by day two of development whether a given embryo has the potential to become a blastocyst and the development of the technology described here, there is the potential to translate this scientific research into clinical practice and improve embryo selection. Naturally, clinical validation is needed to verify this. We acknowledge funding contributions from the Stanford Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine, a generous anonymous donor, and the March of Dimes. We would also like to thank Oxygen and the Stanford IVF Clinic for their technical support in producing this video. Thank you for your attention.